Welcome to Maker Monday. My name is Leslie and I'm the Reading Safari and Stream Coordinator for Monterey County Free Libraries. Today we are going to be making a clothespin catapult. If you don't know what a catapult is, think of Angry Birds. When you are shooting the projectiles, usually they're what, little, little birds or something, um, over to knock down uh, buildings. We're going to be um, building a catapult that, that operates like that. So it's throwing something. Ours are going to be made out of clothespins. I'm going to show you how to make two different kinds. So here's the two clothespins. Um, I have my base, which is a piece of wood. Um, you can also probably use something like a sheet of foam or maybe a piece of cardboard. Just something that can act as a base for what's going to be your catapults, okay? Uh, I'm also going to use a plastic spoon, okay, a little craft stick. Mine's kind of curved because this isn't exactly a craft stick. It's from a, um, an ice cream. Um, I have a couple of rubber bands in case I need them to secure things. Um, I also have a hot glue gun with another stick of glue. Now this you're going to want to have a parent use with you so that you do not burn yourself, okay? Because this can burn you. You gotta be really careful. I also have a bottle cap from a Gatorade bottle um, that's going to be used to have our projectiles sit in for one of our catapults. I've got that and then I have our projectiles. Now, it's important for the sake of this project to use something soft as a, as a projectile because this is what's going to be flying through the air and we don't want to hurt anybody. So I have these little bitty, can you see? These little bitty pom-poms. They're squishy, they're soft, they're used for crafting. You can also use something like marshmallows or blueberries or something like that. Um, this is a, a project definitely designed to not hurt anybody. It's just to kind of play with um, physical forces and stuff and to, you know, just see if we can experiment a little bit with um, how to make things uh, fly farther, fly higher, and things like that. So grab your materials and let's build some catapults together. To get started with this catapult, we're going to do a very simple one first. Um, this basically requires a base, a clothespin, and then something to place our projectiles in. So we've got all three of those things. We're going to keep it really basic for this first one. So we're going to put some glue here on the clothespin so that we can just have it sit right there in the middle. And it dries pretty quickly, but we're still, still going to let it dry. But while we're doing that, I'm going to put some glue right here so that I can glue this cap on right here. And what this cap does, as I mentioned before, is this, this is the holder for our projectile. Do you see? Very, very simple. And we're going to give it some time to dry. In the meantime, um, while it's drying, we're going to make a, a slightly more complicated catapult. For our slightly more complicated catapult, um, I'm going to secure my spoon to the stick here with a rubber band. You could also probably glue it. I'm going to try a rubber band, see how that works. Um, wrap it around a few times till it's the spoon is nice and tight against the stick. All right. Um, I'm going to try it one more time because there's a lot of, okay. I broke that rubber band. I shouldn't have tried it one more time. So I'm going to use my other one. And that's why it's always good to have extra materials because things like that happen quite often. That's going to be the place, the spoon is going to be the place that holds the projectile in this case. And so we're going to do the same as we did with the first one. I'm going to hot glue this, some hot glue right here. And then I'm going to stick this onto the other side of the base, okay? Then we are going to 
hot glue this part of the craft stick to the clothespin like so. All right, do you see that? See how that looks? Okay, and then this, boom. All right. I'm going to let this set for a little bit before I start trying to fly these projectiles. This to me feels really loose and I think I might actually um, want to glue it instead since this rubber band is not really working for me. That spoon will sit flat against that craft stick like that. So I'll put some glue on there. All right. It's hot. All right. And just to be safe, just so I have a little bit extra here, a little bit extra, um, I don't know, insurance about against things breaking, I'm going to try and um, put this rubber band back on so we have a little more holding the spoon on. See this? Here's my projectile and we're going to give it some time to dry. Now I am ready to test my two catapults. Um, I have put them up on some books just to kind of give this some height because I noticed this one's really long. This is so long that it was touching the mat and it wasn't giving it like adequate space to send its projectile flying. So I'm kind of going to, I've raised it up and we're going to see how these two catapults compare to each other. Okay. Um, so there's a project, projectile on each. Now I don't have a special drone or anything, so we're just kind of going to have to um, see where they go. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see what happens. Okay. So I'm going to start with this very basic ones. I'm going to hold this down because um, it needs to be held down because I'm going to apply a lot of force to this right here. So you see how I've opened the, the clothespin like this. I'm going to open it and then let it fly. Did you see that? Okay, I'm going to try it again with another projectile right here. All right, let's try it again. Ready? I've got it pulled down and boom. See, I don't even know if you can see it, but it's flying across the room. Okay. It's a tiny little, tiny little projectile, hard to see. Um, but yeah, it went flying across the room. So that's a pretty, pretty impressive catapult right there. And thank goodness we are using these soft little things as opposed to, I don't know, something like a marble, because I think someone can really get hurt with that. So let's try our second one, our longer one and see how it goes. Okay. So I'm going to put a lot of pressure right here and then boom. Now that, I don't know if you saw it, that went straight up in the air and then landed a little ways over there beyond my work area. It did not go straight forward like the other one did. And so let's try it again and see what happens. Okay. I'm going to push down on that. And then again, it went flying up and then right in front of my work area. And I apologize for you not being able to see it. It is a quite a tiny little projectile. Um, so what I'm going to do is I think that this might be a little too long. And so I think I'm going to try and make another little catapult that is not as long. So I think maybe combining the spoon and the craft stick was just too much. Okay. I was just doing it too much. I'm going to try and find some middle ground. So I'm going to glue another clothespin to my block. Then I'm going to glue the spoon right here. Okay. Now, as you see, this is the first one I made, the second one I made, and this is the one I just did. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this dry. And then I am going to, while I'm letting it dry, I'm going to search for some bigger projectiles that 
we can see better because I don't think you're seeing <clears throat> the tiny little ones at all. Okay, we're gonna do this again. And we're going to test out our newest catapult too, but I wanted to let you know that I found some bigger projectiles to use. These are cotton balls, okay? Cotton balls are more visible than the tiny little craft poofy things. And hopefully you'll be able to see them fly, okay? So let's try this first one again. So I'm gonna hold you down Hold this down and boom. Okay, so you saw it, right? It flew, it didn't go nearly as far as the little craft puff, which makes sense because here's that and here's this. Yeah, they're very, very different in size. Okay, let's try our big one again, like our giant one that I think I made too long. Let's try it again, this time with a cotton ball. All right, I'm holding it down. I'm gonna let it fly. And did you see it? It went right in front of the camera, right there in front of my workspace. Again, farther over this side than that side, okay? So, and now I'm gonna try the one in the middle. So, I'm gonna hold this down and hope that we get this to go absolutely flying. Boom! Okay, so, <laughs> Same thing, you know, we've got it coming down right here in front of, like, in front of my workstation, you know, just on my workstation. It's not going this way. So let me try again just to give it one more shot. Ready? Oh, this time it went behind me. Yeah, there it is. So I don't know. What can we say about that? Um, one thing that I can say about that is that this one, this little tiny, very simple catapult, this first one I built, has a lot of stability. Um, it's very solid. These two, the clothespins move around more and that might be part of it too. Yeah, this one does have a tighter, it has a tighter clothespin that, that, that doesn't move around as these two. But I also think it just has to do with the fact that um, maybe the length of these is just not that, is not that great. So, you know, that's what's fun about making these kinds of things is that you can make all different sizes in different ways and experiment with different projectiles. You can stack your, I think you could probably even stack like clothespins on top of clothespins and glue them together and see if you could get, um, more of a, like a, a, you know, a throw that way. I haven't actually tried that before, but I think that'd be an interesting experiment to see it. Maybe if you have like multiple clothespins, there's more force and it can make up for the fact that these are long. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's very fun to experiment with this stuff, you know, and I like kind of seeing how things work. And it's funny because I did not think that that this one, this very simple, tiny one was going to give us the throw that it did. Um, but, you know, I, I love being surprised like that. I thought I was gonna get a lot more range out of this one. And while it's true that it went up higher, it didn't go forward, you know? And so that's really interesting to me, you know, to see what, you know, what could cause it to be going high, what could cause it to go forward? Um, what can you, what kind of effects can you get with different projectiles, soft ones, you know? Um, I love experimenting with things like that. And um, this one was super fun. Three very easy catapults with uh, materials made at home. These are very easy to find um, and you don't really need anything special to do it. And that's my favorite kind of project. So thank you so much for tuning in today for this Maker Monday. I hope you have a great, great week and that you will make something this week, even if it's not a clothespin catapult. All right, take care. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.